In this guide, we're going to be looking at listing groups and creating listing groups in M2E Pro. Absolutely, Dave. Um, we're going to be taking a deeper look at listing groups within Magento and M2E Pro. We'll be looking at the organization of those groups and then how to create different description policies. And finally, we'll show you how you can create additional listing groups in your system. So as you may remember, when we first went through the M2E Pro setup wizard, we had to create a listing group and it was a default one called default. So we already have one listing group ready. Yay! <laughs> so you may be thinking, what is a listing group? Well, a listing group is effectively a group of eBay listings that all share common features. Or common policies. It's also a tool to help you manage large amounts of eBay listings and one that can help us manage multiple eBay accounts. And that's a big one, Dave, just to step that one in there, is yep. that that's how you can manage multiple eBay accounts and still have some hair left and keep, <laughs> keep your sanity because you'll group them out. And sorry, sorry, Dave, go for the last one. So it's, the last one is almost a spin off of that one where it allows you to sell on international eBay sites too. So cross border trade opens up massively. Absolutely. So when it comes to listing groups, we felt that it was important to explain the methodology, which is basically a posh word for reason behind setting up multiple listing groups first. And we already have this default listing group in our system. And that's the group which we suggest that you use for products which have no variations. So if you're selling a keyboard, for example, and that doesn't come in any variations, then you put your, that product, when you list it to eBay, into the default listing group. So the default group is for no variations. However, we are going to be creating five more listing groups in our system. And the reason for that is that we're going to create a group for each attribute set that we just made. So if you only just made size, color, and size, color, then in your case, then you're going to have default and three more listing groups for your system, whereas in our system, we're going to create five. The other reason why we create separate listing groups is that when we have set the configurable attribute in separate description policies for each group, it's easier for you to handle the different variation types used in description policies. And this is a big one, Dave, because so we're going to go slightly off on topic on here. A couple of minutes ago, I showed Dave the reason why we would want to do this mm -hmm. and is that in each description policy, and we'll point this out because we'll jump to our system in a few moments, is that with each description policy, you've got the option in there to choose the configurable attribute, which would cause the images to swap on eBay. So you imagine when you've gone onto eBay and you're looking at an eBay listing and you choose a different color. So you choose pink or blue and you see the main images change. And the reason what, or the, the reason for that is that the seller has dictated that it's that option which should make the color, it makes the images change on their listing. And when we can come back to M2E Pro, it's in the description policy where you set the attribute, which is going to cause the images to swap. Right, so that's the boring theory work out of the door. What we're going to do now is that we're going to jump across to our system and create, create them. And please feel free to follow us along in your system and add in the listing groups, which makes sense for you. And we'll see you in a few seconds. So we've jumped across to our Magento system. And don't worry if you've timed out or gone off onto a different page. To get to the listing group section is very easy, is that in your top menu, if you hover on sell on eBay and then click on listings below. Now, I'm not sure if it's just me, Matt, but I find the whole listing and listing groups thing quite confusing in M2E Pro Magento. Absolutely. And we've kind of pointed this out to the M2E Pro guides, um, to the M2E Pro guys, is that listings to us mean 
individual listings, doesn't it, Dave? Yeah, yeah, like sending a product to eBay. That would be you have listed a product that is one of your listings, and it's the plural on the end. But in M3 Pro, they call it listings, and we call it listing groups. And the reason why we call it listing groups is that, as you can see on the lower part of our screen, is that you can see that there's two groups there. There's default, and there's also use size. And in there, you can have more than one listing. And you can see this here with total number of items, is that in the also use size group, there's only one listing in there. And in the default, there is four. And that's why we call them listing groups, but M2E Pro calls them listings. So apologies for any confusions there. And again, it did confuse me when we first started, and it, it confuses Dave as well. Yeah, so I just have to think of them as templates now. Yeah, or a template. So groups, policies, whatever. Uh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. I'm confusing matters even worse by, by throwing even more words in there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. Yeah, listing groups. Indeed. And then again, listings if I, tab. <laughs> indeed. If, if I could change this page for you and call it listing groups, I would do. Uh, maybe the guys at M2E Pro or eBay would watch this guide and take the point which we're making here. Anyway, we've gone off topic, but we need to go and create a couple of listing groups in M2E Pro. So on the right hand side of our page, there's a button which says add listing. So we're going to press that button. And this is where we can add a listing group to M2E Pro. So on the left hand side where it says general, we're going to name this uh, aptly. So whereas before we were a little bit, maybe a little bit lapsed in what we were doing, we're going to change tact here on purpose. So the first group which I've got here in my list to, to add is for shoe size. So what we're going to call this, we're going to call this oh so you which is the eBay ID, and you can kind of get where we, me and Dave are going with this, is that we're kind of assuming that you might have one more than one eBay account. And if you don't have multiple eBay accounts, that's okay, but we would still suggest that you put your eBay ID first and then the attribute set name afterwards. So oh so you space hyphen space shoe size, which is the name of the attribute set. Then for the eBay settings, we're going to leave our eBay ID in there and United Kingdom. And again, just going off slightly off topic here is that this is where you can do cross border trade. And this is what we'll be showing you in later guides. So I'll pretend that Dave didn't hear that. Uh, and then continuing on very quickly <laughs> is that in the top right hand corner, if you then click on next step. Now, this is where we can reuse the policies which we made earlier. So what I'm going to do here is where it says custom settings, I'm going to drop that down and choose the immediate payment only option, which was one of the policies which we made originally. Then for the shipping is that we're also going to choose our policy which we made earlier on. And if you want to change any of these settings, feel free to do so. And actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose this option like so, but then I'm going to edit it. So where it says view forward slash edit, if you then click on that link, you can go off and just check on the settings here so that you'll be able to see the title, change the title maybe to something else. You'll be able to change the country, the VAT rate, or any of the shipping options which you've got available. But for now, we're just going to assume that those values are fine. And uh, you would need to change those values to suit your business. So if, if those values don't suit your business and what you've got in your system right now, go and change them in your system. And then once you finish doing that, just press save in the top right hand corner. So coming back to adding our listing group, not listing in here, we are going to choose the 14 days return returns accepted as our policy. So that was nice and straightforward because we kind of did all the hard work before. Then in the top right hand corner, we're then going to click on the next step button. Now from this page is where we are going to just confirm that we're going to list as good till cancelled on our listing. So where it says listing type fixed price, we're going to change the duration to good till cancelled and we're going to change the conditional quantity to disabled. And now where it says ignore variations is that in the setup guide, and again, I'm being honest with you here, I can't remember if we told you to set that to no or yes, 
But in this instance, because we are going to be listing variation products, we need to make sure that ignored variations is set to no. The next setting is that we need to be aware of is that I'm just scrolling down the page here, is that for the item price. And you should change the variation price, not from the main product, but for the associated products. And that's key. That means that you can have different prices for each size and color variation combo which you've got. And again, if you've got an item which may be size and it's like a packet quantity, for example, that's how you would do it. You would set your different pricing on each of the variations or variants in Magento. And by setting that as associated products, that those price changes will come across to eBay. Now, we have made some changes here. So I'm going to save that as, as a new policy. So where it says save as new policy, I'm going to press that button and I'm going to call this price quantity. And I'm then going to put in there four their, if I can tell it, variations like so price quantity four variations. And then I'm going to press on the confirm button. So we've been and added that now as a new policy to our system. And if we scroll back up, that we'll see that that's there and that's the policy which has been set. Now, we did mention the description policy, and this one's quite important. So we're going to assume that you're selling new, brand new products, and if you're not, then change your condition accordingly on here. Then when it comes to the main product, is that what we suggest is that you leave it as product base image. And again, if any of these options don't make any sense to you, is that there is a little help icon here on the right hand side. Because we're going to be selling into the fashion categories on eBay, we know that the picture pack is now free. And again, we're going to rely on your research on there and your experience with eBay to choose that option or not. And the same for the gallery pictures. So where it says gallery images, we're going to drop that down and we're going to choose up to 11, like so. And then here's the crucial one, is that we're creating a listing group which is specifically for the shoe size attribute set. So where it says change images for attribute, we're going to drop that down and then choose shoe size. And what that means is that when we go actually go in and list an item onto eBay, when the customer chooses a different shoe size, is that the picture could then change for them. So now I'm going to scroll down. And where it comes to the details and the title, remember that we created that eBay title attribute. So what we're going to do, we're going to change the title from product name to custom title. Then on the right hand side, where it says active from, we're going to choose the eBay title from our list of attributes. And there we go, there's our eBay title. So I've selected that, and I'm now gonna press the insert button on the right hand side. We're gonna assume that you're not gonna be using subtitles, and if you were, that you could set them there. And we also want the feature to cut off the long titles. Now the next option is for the description. And right now, we're just gonna use the description for the products. And the reason being is that we've got a set of three, four, maybe five guides on how you can leverage the keyword system using Magento and M2E Pro to create fantastic listings onto eBay. We're also gonna assume that you do have an EAN set. So I'm gonna set EAN. And in your case, if you, you, if you created the UPC or the ISBN, then that's what you would set there also. And now scrolling down the page is that, again, we're relying on your experience here and your knowledge of eBay, and you'll need to check on eBay directly for this, is that because we are listing into the UK fashion categories, is that we can set that to gallery picture and it won't incur any additional fees. Oh, and the other tip when we did the setup guide is that hit counter, if you drop that down and choose hidden style, you'll be able to see the hit, you'll be able to see the number of visitors which have been on your listing, but that won't be shared with your competitors. So in this case, where it says save as new policy, I'm going to click on there and I'm going to call this oh so you hyphen description and then hyphen and then shoe size like so I'm going to give that a capital D as well and then press on the confirm button on the right hand side. 
uh, and it's already kind of given me a warning that it exists. So again, that's because we've been testing. So I'm going to click confirm on there. Now the next stage is the synchronization settings. So to get to that stage, we press next step in the top right hand corner. And this is where we can set our list actions. And if you've got a help menu just like ours on our screen and you don't want to read the, the, the help text, is that if you just click on the help link just there, or if that's hidden for you, click on help and then that will appear for you. And we're going to leave our list action is enabled because we're assuming that when we add an item to a listing group, that we actually do want to list that item there and, there and then. And the list conditions are going to be enabled in stock and item quantity as any. Then in the top right hand corner, click on next step. Now M2E Pro kindly assumes that we want to add products to this listing group. So if we now go back to sell on eBay and then to click on listings, we'll now see that we've got a new listing group. We've got our default, we've got our size, which we were playing with earlier in the earlier guides, and we've got the new guide called OsoU oh Shoe Size. So what we're going to do is create one more attribute group with you, and then we're going to leave you to add these to your system. And in the background, we will add in the other three groups after this. So this time I'm going to go a little bit faster than what we did before. So on the right hand side, I'm going to click on add listing. Then I'm going to name it also you hyphen uh, shoe size main color. Then on the right hand side, I'm going to click on next step. I'm going to choose our standard policy for immediate payment. I'm going to assume, assume that our shipping settings are correct and the same for our return settings. And then I'm going to click next step in the top right hand corner. Now I'm going to copy the OSOU GTC variations because that's what we set up in the previous um, guide. Next, when it comes to the description policy is we're going to change, leave that as new because we want to assume that's going to be new. We're going to change the, and again, this is our case for the fashion category. We're going to change the picture pack to yes, the gallery images to 11. And then here's the crucial point is that where it says change images for attribute, in this case, we want the image to change on the main color. So if you think about when an item is being listed onto eBay, if we're listing size and color, it's more important for the color image to swap than what the size image is to swap as well. So scrolling down, I'm quickly going to go and change our custom title to come from the eBay title and then click on insert. I'm going to leave those values as normal. I'm going to also choose EAN while I'm at it. And then down at the bottom of the page, I'm going to change gallery type to gallery picture and I'm going to change my hit counter to hidden. And in this case, I'm going to save this as a new policy, which is going to be called OsoU hyphen description and then hyphen and the name of the attribute set. And that's the key piece of all the steps which we've just been through and then click on confirm. Then click next step. I'm going to leave the values as default on the next screen. And then I'm going to leave you here to go and add the rest of the parts to your system and we'll catch up with you in a few moments. So what we've seen in this guide is how to create listing groups in M2E Pro and why they're important. So we've been and learned why we should create multiple listing groups. And the reason for that is that it helps you manage the different listing types based upon variations in M2E Pro. It also helps you manage large numbers of listings when it comes to eBay because you've got them separated out into their individual groups. We've also shown you the differences between them. And we also looked at how to create listing groups and we had a quick off-tangent topic about the, why they are called listing groups and we both feel that they should 
be called something else in M2 Epo. Yeah, well, they call them listings, and we can get yeah. the listing group. So big hint there, nudge, nudge, uh, to the <laughs> bright person who is listening to this right now. Yes. Uh, you know for... who you are. <laughs> and we saw that we can create and manage and also edit our description policies too while we're creating a listing group. And remember that key fields which we saw, which was for the image swapping, the value for which we should choose to make our images swap so that when we list an item onto eBay and the colors are different, is that when we add different color images to our listings in Magento, is that when we list them onto eBay, is that the image will swap based upon the color, which is the primary one, or worst case, the shoe size, uh, if you're just listing a product with in different sizes. And that's an important one because if you look at any of the key large sellers on eBay who are selling variation products, nearly all of them will have that functionality where when you select a color variation, the image will change too. And it's becoming more of a norm on eBay. The, the buyer will start to expect this if they're not already. And it's something that's really easy to do. Yeah, let's just put the big guys aside for one moment there, Dave. It's what your customers want. And that's the way which we do it with m 2 Pro. The customer wants to, when they choose pink, they want to see the pink product. When they choose blue, they want to see the blue products. And it just makes good sense uh, from a customer's point of view. Yeah, uh, my comment about the big guys was mainly because that's who the majority of the, the customers will see doing it first. So, yeah, you do what the customers are beginning to expect yeah, in our uh, listing. Absolutely. We think it's good practice, and that's why we've shown you this method of creating listing groups in Magento, because we believe that's best practice for you to follow. Oh, talking about best practice, there's a huge tip in there, is that when you add a new listing group to Magento, go to the top menu, because once you finish adding all the settings in there, m 2 Pro kind of expects you to add listings to it, and that's not the case, because you've got a couple of listing groups to add. So go to the top menu, click sell on eBay and then click on listings and then you'll exit out of there and then that allows you to carry on and add the other listing groups as well. And as always, we have an action needed in this type of guide and that is if you haven't followed us along so far, then it's time to hit rewind and start selling your variation products or getting your listing groups ready to start selling variation products. Absolutely. And the, we've been uh, crawling and we've been, um, we've been building up to this stage, Dave, which is in the next guide. We'll show you how to walk and we'll be adding a couple of products to our system with the different listing groups. And then we'll be going off and listing them onto eBay and we'll purposely do the image swapping for you so you can actually see that in action. So we'll see you soon. Cheerios.